So today we have Daniel Trusty, one of our trusty sales reps, <laughs> to talk to us about some common questions that customers ask you and that they shouldn't just be asking you, but they should also be asking all of their contractors that they're getting quotes from so that they can make sure they're getting the best quality information. So what are some of the top things that you recommend that customers ask from their contractor? Uh, a lot of top things that I recommend to ask is, of course, I always start off with them being licensed and bonded in the area to make sure that they are proper to work on. So do you have to have a license to do roofing in the state of Indiana? Uh, no, you don't have to have a license to uh, do it in uh, at a roof in the state of Indiana. It's a uh, municipality. Okay, uh, so have. it could be different depending on the city that you live in. Yes, Okay. which is important That's for your different. contractor to know as well. All right, what else do they ask? Uh, ask them for a copy of the insurance and uh, make sure you, they sit down and go over their warranty information to okay. make sure the getting the correct manufacturer warranty, the proper installation to where you get the full warranty and make sure all steps are taken that they are approved by that. Is there a difference between like a warranty that the actual installer gives and then mm. the one that the manufacturer gives? Yes. Yes, uh, the manufacturer will have a warranty that protects the shingles mm -hmm. the, uh, and other materials used on the job site where the contractor will provide a warranty on their installation itself. Okay, so like how long are we looking for? What's a good ballpark number for installation? We start uh, at Rojas at 15 years. Is that normal or is that higher? It's than higher. Normal? Okay, what's Mo normal? Normal that I have personally have seen is about five years. Five years, okay, so we should be looking for that. Before the customer picks you, is there any way to know like the quality of the installation or like what would you recommend the customer, how they find that out? I would recommend them trying to get a portfolio from the contractor okay, that they're working so like with. Okay, like pictures? Yes. Pictures, uh, look up their reviews on the company, mm -hmm. uh, make sure uh, some, some companies even do testimonials like we do. We get the customers after we perform the work, we talk to them, we get with them and we let them share, share their experience where they had a fantastic time. Great. And so is there anything that they should be asking about like the actual day of the install or like what their expectations might be? So yes, it is important to get a timeline from your uh, contractor. They can generally give a timeline for roofing. Of course, there's elements that can get in the way of that. So we all gotta be prepared of that. But they, there should be a basic timeline, uh, expectation and uh, a procedure on how it's gonna go, as well as after the completion of the project, it's important to do a walkthrough with the client and make sure everything is done up to their expectations. So like quality management check? Yes. Okay, is there anything else that you would recommend that a customer ask to make sure they're getting a top quality contractor? Yes, uh, I, I would recommend them make, uh, to make sure it's a detailed estimate, not just a number written on a piece of paper. Oh that yeah, you. <laughs> that's a good idea. You wanna make sure you're getting the right materials. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Daniel, and make sure you're asking your contractor those questions.